but it was going to be close time-wise because we were a little slow getting into it. But Hobbs started to throw it, and Kuiper made a nice play on it and deflected it. But you know, you just want it so bad for these guys. But but you know, as as fans, as players, and as coaches, we all look at that last play. But there's there's two or three in the last three minutes that we got to make. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it's just they're getting the rebound. You got that's <coughs> that's probably the biggest difference in winning and losing these games. Not the not the last play. It shouldn't always have to come down to the you making a shot at the end to win. It mm -hmm. shouldn't always do that. And you can avoid that if you just go get a rebound. If you don't foul on a rebound, you know, um, you know. So doing those things right with one two minutes to go wins you the game. And uh, you know, credit New Mexico. It was a heck of a battle, and they. They, you know, they made the plays, enough plays, and gave us a chance with two missed free throws. And, um, you know, uh, but, but again, like I said, I'm really proud of our guys, but guy, I want them, I want them to get rewarded for it. They need to get rewarded for it, and that's, you know, all the, we're not into moral victories, and we're not into, hey, we played close, we're never into that, I hate that. And, uh, but, uh, but again, I'm proud of the way we we never give up. We keep battling, and there's a lot of teams, a lot of players around the country that, that wouldn't handle what they're handling. They wouldn't handle. It. I know I've asked you this probably the last three or four times this has happened. It's unreal, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's Groundhog Day. Do you think when it's de when it's getting down to the final minute or two that it's it's in guys' heads or your head or it's like no, a, no, yeah, uh, it, not at all. I mean, maybe there's a the, the only thing that would be in their heads. Not not. I don't think we're. We're not showing signs. I mean, when you watch this team, you, you, you would think that it's any other year, really. I and mean, that's what people say to me all the time and how hard they're playing, how they're executing, how they're doing some good things. And, and you would think it's almost any other year, but they're, we're just not finishing. And so I think it's part of it is they want it so bad at the end. There might be some of that. I don't think they're thinking, oh, here we go again. No, they're thinking, all right, we're in a position to win this one. Let's find a way to do it, but mm -hmm. but they want it so bad that it's not that relaxed, that calm. You know, you know, we call it a blue mind where they're just they can just see everything clearly, and they probably are pressing a little bit and, and worrying about maybe being perfect instead of making a play. Like, you know, I think you've, you've watched my teams long enough. Justinian Jespa played an unbelievable game. He gets that rebound down there. Usually with my previous teams all plays are off okay you miss both of them all plays are off get to the rim go you've had a great night make it happen and you know there's three passes at that point yeah then yeah. we made we made three passes and that's not for at least two yeah yeah, yeah he threw it to Pat and then Pat threw it to yeah uh, so two mm -hmm. but but if we could have X you know if we could have but you know at that point of the game it's really not it's not about executing it's about going making a play Okay. And I would have liked to see Justinian like, all right, get them spread out and let me go. Well, you know, I know easily a couple of these games could be flipped, but it's a result, result-oriented yeah, game. Absolutely, zero-sum the, the, game. The 19 losses ties for the program record here. And I just, unless you win the title here, I mean, this yeah. team's going to finish with the most losses in program history. I don't think anybody watching would say it's the worst team. No. But, I mean, how, how do you kind of sum up, I guess, what's happened this year? And you're going to end up with a, a record maybe that no team's ever had here. Yeah. That's a tough one. It's a tough one for these guys to swallow because, like you said, I don't, I don't feel like it's, you know, I don't feel like it's the worst team. Yeah. You know, you know but you know, that's I guess it's the ebb and flow of it sometime, and the fact that you know we've got the best team in school history, or you know, our most wins and we've the most losses now. So it's kind of the way it is. It, it, uh, Coming down to halftime, you guys looked different. What, what did you change adjusting wise Well, we were too passive. You know, we just, I wanted them to be more aggressive and talked about that in, half, in, in halftime. You know, they, they 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 only had three defensive fouls on them, but that was on us because of our lack of aggressiveness. Okay. All right. Thank you,